hello guys welcome to my channel again thank you for stopping by and today we're make, making this very beautiful dress enjoy and stay tuned first thing you fold your material into four places then you cut out your front and back and um, i'm making this dress for a two-year-old i'm making this dress for a two-year-old so if you have a two-year-old close by i think i took um under bust for my waist shoulder to waist i took um 10 then depending on the size of the child you just measure according to your child so i cut out my the rope for my tiny hand because it's a one shoulder dress i cut that out then the the material i used to make plinting for the front too i cut that out and this is also the one i used to make gathers for the waist area next thing i did i printed for the front part of the dress i made the printing for the front part of the dress you arrange it and make it look beautiful then i also used by house you know i did not line in this cloth so i used by house to turn the neck of this cloth i didn't have enough material to use as um to turn it i okay after putting the printing on the neck i also used the bias to turn the front too after you put the printing so that you can turn and it will still be looking neat Although my sewing is looking a little bit rough, I know you also be better. This is just like an idea of how you can make this very simple and beautiful dress for your baby girl. You don't need to be like a professional tailor to make this. All you need is just the basics and your child's measurements and you are good to go. You turn with the bias and this is what your printing would look like. Don't mind my own, it's looking a little bit rough. After that, you turn the back and the front. Like I said, this is my back and this is my front. After that, you would make the gathers for your down part, for the down part of your dress. This is my gathers for the front and the back. I hope everyone knows how to make a simple gathers. It's very beautiful and recommended for your baby girl's dresses after that you attach the back parts to the gathers one of the gathers they're actually the same measurement so you can use any one of your choice for the front or the back you sew the back i've sewed the back with one of the gathers and i also did same for the front as you can see This is what my dress is coming out to look like after that you would join your shoulder we have just one shoulder on this um, beautiful dress so you join your shoulder and also you join your sides as you can see i took my measurements the measurement of the baby i'm making this dress for the measurement of my baby i took the measurement and after joining the the shoulder i joined the both sides down to the length of my dress i also folded as you can see i folded the my armpit because the, the dress does not have like a hand so i folded my armpit with the bias hey, see what i was saying I use the bias to also fold my armpits. This is what my plinting looks like. This is what the dress is coming out to look like. It's looking so beautiful. It's looking so beautiful. Next, this is the hand of my clothes. The other rope hand. I'll call it the rope hand. You just go ahead and take the measurement of your choice. Like do what you like be creative with what you want to do mine i took like um eight or seven inches for the length of my own rope and as you can see i've attached it to the dress 
from the from the armpit hole to the um, place I put the the rope I think is like 2.5 inches before I added the rope you can see what my dress is looking like now I have added the rope I have joined my shoulders I have added the gathers to the top of the clothes and also the printing is coming out beautifully also I'm going to put like a belt on the waist of the clothes this is my belt take the measurement you want I know you're enjoying this video so don't forget to subscribe subscription is free you are not paying to subscribe to my channel so please subscribe like the video share your thoughts what you think about the video and also share the video to anyone you think it would be useful to and that's my rope that's the rope of the dress you make a very very little hole by the side and you just attach it it's that simple it's not a complicated style although it looks simple but beautiful this is what we have check out my baby's dress looking so beautiful from the neck to the hand and down to the gathers of the clothes this one my complete dress looks like this dress was so easy to make did not take time see my model I was asking her to stand up and take a spin do a spin for me but she was sitting down instead thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe subscription is free share this video and let other mommies that actually do not know how to sew professionally make this dress for their babies thank you all i love you guys